Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. You can always check your other placements and you may find some messages there for you. Uh, if not, you can get a personal reading. I'll leave the information in the description box below. So what is going on here with Gemini and their person? What is passing? We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. What is this person's energy towards Gemini? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And what is Gemini's energy towards this person? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What is the external environment here? What is the external to this connection? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. And the outcome worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. So there is something about timing here. When it comes to this connection with you and your person... Someone has been trying to call the other person into their life, trying to call in this past life relationship using prayers, affirmations, or visualizations in the past. And your person right now, I do see them considering um, working on this partnership, making something happen with you, and putting in the time and effort to give this a shot. Um, so I do feel like there is a little bit of some obsession. Somebody is a little, has some obsession with another person and because they are using these prayers, affirmations, and visualizations, um, there's somebody who's feeling very, um, bound to the other person, connected, and having a hard time freeing themselves from this connection because there is something holding them together and I do feel like it is because of um, some type of magic going on here but in the past it looks like to me there was some type of toxicity in between you guys um, somebody could have been a liar somebody could have been a cheater sneaky um, juggling other other people or other things and and just lying lying about it and I feel like at this point, the same person is trying to come, um, trying to manifest something here, manifest a commitment, or manifest uh, another another chance. Tell me about give your relationship a chance. Um, so right now. Your person is just, they're just thinking about this, thinking about what they're going to do here, thinking about if this is something that they can get through because it looks like it has been challenging in the past and now they're starting to wonder, is this connection strong enough to to get through these hard times and have some type of victory here and I feel like right now they have just let go and let God at this point and um, I feel like they're the ones trying to call you in trying to get you to message them trying to get you to talk to them to come over to see them um, definitely I feel like they're trying really hard using their mind to get some type of movement and it looks like this person has a really powerful, is a really powerful manifester and they, they're trying to get things moving here but I feel like they're trying to get you to take action towards them and if you've had a hard time moving on from this person um, it is because they are a very strong uh, manifester here and this is something that is kind of holding you together to this person. I'm hearing a soul tie. You could have a soul tie to this person. Tell me about keep an open mind. So it looks like to me you have a lot of fears when it comes to this person here. You feel like um, 
you could be dealing with a Pisces, but I feel like you're, you're trying to keep it together at this point, trying to find clarity when it comes to this person, but you're having a hard time seeing things clearly because, again, I feel like there's some type of magic going on between you guys, um, especially with this person here, but there has been disappointments in the past and there has been uh, something that had happened that I feel like for for some of you, it, it really left you in your feelings here and feeling very scared and feeling like there's a lot that you don't know when it comes to this person, a lot of secrets, a lot of things kept in the dark here. And I feel like you're also feeling that. I feel like you feel like you're kind of kept in the dark with this person. And there, it looks like there was some type of third party situation going on here that got into the way of this this commitment or got in the way of some type of principle here some some type of principle and traditions have been broken and this really left you feeling insecure with this person in your life here and i feel like for some of you like it really like has you in your head about them and you don't know why you're thinking about this person or why you feel why you can't stop thinking about them when it looks like to me I feel like you want to move on if you haven't already but you're having a hard time kind of listening to your intuition here for some of you Let's see what this past life relationship is about. Tell me about past life relationship. So there is indecision here with somebody from a past, from your past here. Indecision about whether or not you should continue to give to this connection. Um, I feel like there has been some spying going on, watching, watching each other from afar, or just having some really short-ended communication. Like it, the communication comes in and it doesn't really go anywhere, and. It looks like that there's a decision that somebody's trying to make here about communicating whether or not they want to give to this connection and balance things out. I feel like somebody wants to balance things out and that's that's really what they want. They want communication really bad here. And again, it looks like to me your person's trying to bring you into their life, trying to get you to message them or to come see them. And they're kind of trying they're trying to stay hopeful and be patient for this and waiting for the right timing for some type of uh, for the talk to happen. Tell me about worth waiting for. But it looks like this person hasn't moved on. Tell me about worth waiting for. So it looks like there is communication coming in here. There will be communication possibly from a fire sign um, or a water sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could also be a Capricorn. Okay, so I see somebody coming forward, taking action at, very passionately and coming in with some, some good news and also some very honest news because it looks like somebody has finally found the clarity that they needed in order to come in and speak their truth and be passionate about what they're saying and feel confident about what they're saying and I do see that this is going to happen when 
at divine timing here because there, there's still a lot of fog going on and I do feel like there is going to be some communication that is going to bring a lot of happiness um, and a lot of truth coming out, a lot of clarity, things coming to light. The truth is coming out here, okay? So confessions coming in. What else is going on with Gemini and their person? What is going on with Gemini and their person? We have family. So you or this person could have a family or you have a family together. Maybe this is somebody that you are married to or in a commitment with. And your person right now is going through time, some type of awakening period, spiritual growth, spiritual awakening. And I feel like you triggered some type of spiritual awakening in your person here. And they're also, um, again, they're trying to call you in through using some spiritual forces. You could have met this person at work or you worked with this person. And there is indecision about whether or not you should have this uh, passionate communication with this person. But I also see that... Um, this person has not moved on because they still feel very passionate towards you. And for some of you, um, you or this person could have children. Anything else that we should know about with Gemini and their person? Is there anything else that we should know about with Gemini and their person? We have no, so I feel like you're going to be very assertive with this person and you are choosing to let go. I feel like you have let go of this person, but this person hasn't like got the memo yet. I feel like they want to really come in and give this another shot, but you don't want, you're, you're tired of it. Like you're, you're exhausted. You want, you don't want to do this anymore. And I feel like you will get some type of victory. I feel like you're starting to master the art of letting go. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation. Thank you for watching. Bye.